Hi, my name is Dan, and this video is one in a series that I'm doing on using materials in Unreal. And in this one, I'm going to look at transparency. Uh, so the setup I've got here is I have a third-person template map. Uh, and in fact, I've got something that I created in a previous uh, video, which is I've got a little world over here. Uh, with a material on it, and the world's rotating, it's rotating the wrong way around, but I don't really care. Uh, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore some uh, transparency using this material. Uh, so let's get into the material. So at the moment, what we've got is um, a, uh, a color map, or sometimes known as a diffuse map, going into the base color. And I've got this uh, black and white, uh, equivalent map going into the specular, which uh, which makes it so that the sea is shiny and the land isn't. Uh, but I'm going to disconnect that. I'm not interested in the the shininess now. But I did want to have uh, some textures where I had a uh, black and white equivalent uh, on the uh, the maps onto the texture. Um, so that's why I'm using this set. So uh, what I'm going to do is show you two different modes that materials can have that will allow you to have uh, transparency. And the first one is uh, what's called masked. Uh, so let's uh, have a look for the setting that I want. I, I'm highlighting the wrong thing there, so I need the material here. Um, and it's the blend mode. So the default blend mode is opaque, which means you can't see through it at all. And there are several modes here, and I'm going to uh, show masked and translucent. So masked uh, allows you to give a zero or one value to say whether a particular point on the surface is see-through or not. And I can just plug this straight into this opacity mask, um, which has appeared. And if we look at that, we'll find that actually the land has gone and disappeared, but the sea is still there. It Probably would look nicer if it was the land that was there and the sea that was gone. So the easy way to do that is to invert this. So where one is zero, uh, so where, where it's one makes it to zero. Where it's zero, we're going to make it to one. And there is a node specifically designed for this, which is the one minus node. Um, it's such a common thing to, to want to do, to invert something. Uh, and so there we have it. Uh, we've got the, uh, the land mass from the world. Um, and the sea has been taken away, and that looks quite cool. One thing that's a little bit odd is that we can see through it, um, and we can see the front side or the outside facing parts of uh, the land. But when we, as we move around, you can see if we move around to the, uh, the Pacific, almost everything has disappeared there, and that's because the inside surface of uh, the sphere is not being rendered. Um, and when we've got opacity, opacity, we often do want it to uh, to render both sides, and there's just a, a tick box here uh, where we can uh, turn our materials on to be two-sided. So if you've got opaque uh, items, you usually don't bother because it's a waste of computation time. Uh, but when you've got uh, objects which have got some transparency in them, you almost certainly want to have it two-sided. So we're going to apply that and go and have a look at it in the world. I mean, it looks quite nice over here. Um, but I always like seeing this particular one rotating around that's fun yeah and that looks pretty cool okay so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to take the the same two textures but i'm going to make this look more like a hologram um so i'm going to make the whole thing somewhat transparent and i'm going to make the land a bit less transparent than the sea and i'm going to make it just uh so it's got a, a blank color to make it give this kind of display effect to it uh, so let's get back into the material. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is disconnect the color map. I'm just going to turn that into a kind of uh, purplish, well, bluish color. Uh, so I'm dragging off the, the color there, and um, I have to put in constant. It's, I always find this a little counterintuitive. I think you should be able to just type in color. Um, and we've got a three... No value color there. Uh, just actually, um, I'll just mention it because we're there. Um, if I do constant, uh, constant four vector, you'll see that 
that gives us four values. And the fourth value is what's called an alpha value. And if you look on this texture sample here, we've actually got, uh, we can take RGB out, we can take R out on its own, G out on its own, B out on its own, or A on its own, which is the alpha. And sometimes in textures, you'll find that the alpha channel, which is it's basically a spare channel, has been used for transparency. And so sometimes with textures, if you've got transparent elements in it and you want to use those, uh, you just stick it in as a texture sample like this and you use the alpha and pull that out to the opacity mask or to the opacity here if it's partial. Okay, so now we're going to use translucent modes. Uh, oh, no, I was going to plug in this uh, colour, wasn't I? Right. Uh, at the moment it's black, so we end up with a black and white world. Uh, which is how some people see the world anyway, I'm sure. Uh, I've got a blue... Uh, I'm going to make that kind of a nice light blue color. Uh, move that to the there we go, and that looks quite nice in itself. It's got kind of a blank color for the for the land and empty for the seas, which is great. Uh, but we're going to turn this into translucent instead, um, which allows us to have a variable uh, amount of uh, opacity, and in fact. It's broken now because we're plugging that into the opacity there and it's wrong. We should be taking it into the, not the mask one, but that opacity. And let's see how this goes. So this is kind of what we had before, but as you see, as I move around with the land, you can see through and see the land behind. Now, actually, what we want to do is to make it so that the sea has some colour as well. And so we want to compress this black and white that we've got here. So kind of grey and uh, uh, so the blacks are a darkish grey and the whites are uh, a lightish grey. So this is going to take a little bit of maths, I'm afraid. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to uh, to reduce the range. Um, remember that everything is inverted afterwards, but let's not worry about that. We'll just keep the inversion in there. Uh, I'll just disconnect that one there in case it's causing problems. Um, so we're fine to still think of it as white means that we want it to be um, transparent. And uh, we're just going to boost, uh, not boost, we're going to reduce the, the range here. So I'm going to divide uh, the number that we've got by, um, and I'm going to put another constant. And I'm going to make that 4. Okay. And... Um, if we plug that in there instead, this should now be uh, much less transparent. Yes, as you can see, it kind of looks like it did uh, before, actually. Um, and it's, that's not quite what we want. Um, uh, what we want to do is then take that value and raise it somewhat so that it's <coughs> uh, kind of in the mid range rather than all of the bottom. So we're going to add. A constant on there. Add constant. And I'm just going to make that um, slap back in the middle. Well, why not? Let's try that. 0.5. Let's turn that value out. Plug it into that. Let's see what effect we get. Okay, it's kind of um, almost see-through, but we can we can get the impression of the world there. Um, let's apply that and go and have a look at it on the our ball that's rotating in the world. And actually, yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, there's this weird effect going on where it's kind of, kind of going flicking light and dark, light, dark, light, dark. And I don't actually know what's causing that. Um, I don't mind it in context because it's meant to look like it's some kind of electrical or um, a hologram type projection. Uh, but, yeah, you, you know, in the reality of things. If I didn't like that, I'd probably want to try and work out what was going on there and stop it. Uh, but there we have it. We've got um, a translucent world. Uh, so we've done two forms of transparency. We've had mass transparency, which is basically you can switch individual bits on or off. And then we've used this opacity, which gives us a variable transparency. And you'll see I've kept the double-sidedness on so that you can see the uh, from the inside, the back of it as it comes round as well. So, there we are. That's it from me for now. Mm -hmm.